Now this question then, we've got the acceleration which we're told is constant, has the vector 2i minus 5j meters per second per second, and when t equals 3, the velocity of the particle p is minus 6i plus j meters per second. And we're told that when t equals 0, the speed is u, and we've got to find the value of u. Well, to do this, what we need to turn our attention to is the equation that v equals u plus at. But because we're dealing with vectors, then we're looking at vector quantity for velocity equals the vector quantity u, the initial velocity, plus the vector for the acceleration times the time. So in order to get u, if I rearrange this, the vector u will be v minus at. And then all I've got to do is put in these values, v being minus 6i plus j. And then we've got minus the acceleration times t, which is 3. So I'm going to put the 3 at the front of the bracket for acceleration. 3 lots of 2i minus 5j. And if I expand the bracket and group together the i's, you can see that I've got minus 6i minus another 6i, so that's minus 12i. And then we've got j minus 3 times minus 5, so that's plus 15j, and another j, that's 16j. Now, this is the initial velocity vector, but we're asked for the speed, and the speed is given by u, which is the magnitude of the initial velocity vector, this one here. And how do we find that magnitude? We well, should know that it's the square root of the sum of the squares of the components. 12 squared plus 16 squared. If you're not sure about that, very quickly, just the side here, what you've got is that if i is, say, a vector, a unit vector in that direction, and j is the unit vector upwards, then minus 12i plus 16j would represent a vector, a velocity vector, going, starting from here, I should say, going 12 units to the left and then 16 units up. So it would be something like this. And you could put on dotted lines just around here to illustrate the component. And this component here would be 12 units to the left and 16 units up. So you can see, because we've got a right angle triangle, Pythagoras' theorem gives us the length here of the velocity vector u. So 12 squared plus 16 squared, square rooted. And if you work that out, you should find that you get 20. So the initial speed u will be 20 meters per second. Okay, well that's the end of this question.